I looked into it because I was coming up to 40, I was single and I wanted children. But I, I had always been brought up with adoption because I've got two cousins who are adopted. When I was approved, I then started looking through the uh, Be My Parent book. Didn't quite like that uh, process of looking for a kid, so I handed it back to Michael, my social worker. Then one day sent me a, an email with an attachment and opened up the attachment and I said, that's my girl. And it was Leah. Where's little Leah? Hmm? Where's little Leah? At the point I then saw Leah's profile to the point that I was approved was, I think in total it was about eight months. So she had gone from baby to a kid that was crawling and just nearly on her feet. Six months of the eight months I was panicking because I had in my mind that Leah was my daughter. We had 10 days together in Manchester in the foster carer's home, and then Leah was coming with me to London and we were gonna be mum and daughter. And the foster carers are amazing, I still stay in touch with them. And I recommend that to anybody. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. I love you. Oh, I'm gonna drop you! <laughs> mum! My strategy is just be open, it's there. She's got, on her wall in her bedroom, she has a family tree, which includes biological MUM, which we can keep updating as time goes on. But I just think it's good that you've got a picture. I mean, kids, kids see visual, don't they? And Leah knows her story. The story. You know. The biological mum asked Sharon and Alan to look after her and find her a forever mummy. And that was me. And that was me. I did give birth to her. Number one, same as any mother. I mean, life without them is just not even bare thinking about.